Hello friends, hope you are having a fantastic day today. So once again, we are going to solve an awesome lead code problem. But now we are also going to learn a very popular advanced data structure in this problem. So I'm going to pay my utmost attention. I hope you also enjoy the video. So the lead code problem we are going to solve today is called time based key value store. We can see that this one is a medium problem and also a very well like problem on lead code. The problem statement is actually quite a long. Basically, we need to implement a time map class but there are a lot of conditions in order to implement this time map class. So we need to design a time based key value data store that can store multiple values of the same key, but based on the timestamp. So depending on what, at what timestamp, what key value we received, we need to store that. And we also need to retrieve the same key value pair depending on the certain timestamp, the value that, that we have been provided. Now, number one, we need to initialize the object for the time map uh, data structure that we are trying to create. And we also have to set two methods. First one is a set method where we are providing three values. First one is the key. Second one is the value associated with that key. And third one is the timestamp associated with both of these keys and values. Now, next one is a get method where we are providing the key with for which we wants to get the value and we are also providing the associated timestamp so by based on using the combination of these two we should be able to find the value associated with this particular key the other thing is if say for an example for this timestamp we don't have the value associated with the key then we need to find the closest value that was present at that particular timestamp and for some reason we don't find any value for the key then we need to return an empty string so let's try to understand this with an example basically we need to create a data structure and the data structure uh, needs to store three items first item is the key that is going to be the unique pointer second value is the associated value with that key plus the timestamp now the the other thing is that typically we usually see that keys tend to remain common in data structures like hash map and uh, other like hashing based algorithms. But in this case, we can have multiple keys with the same value, but the only difference would be timestamp. So in this case, the value would not be truly unique because the entire value portion is actually combination of value plus timestamp. So let's try to understand currently we have an empty data structure. Now let's try to enter the values uh, path as the key and the Vyas uh, that is my last name as the value and we are also providing the timestamp at one. So at timestamp one, we enter these values, which means in our data structure, we should have the key as P and we should have associated value as Vyas and the value this was located at value number one. Now let's say for some reason during the timestamp number two, once again, I provide the value path. I also provide the value as let's just say uh, J and um, that's it. The timestamp is two. Now, once again, I'm going to store the value P and this time the associated value is going to be J, but this is located at timestamp number two. Now, once again, I have another value path. Once again, the value is K and once again the timestamp is 3 so once again i'm going to have another entry in my data structure for path the value associated is k and the timestamp is 3 now say that i do a get operation for the get operation i provide the value as key path and i also provide the timestamp to be 2 so in this case the answer i should be receiving back would be value number j because j was the value stored for this path key at timestamp number 2 so this should return a j as the answer let's say once again i do another get operation this time i provide the value path as the key and as the timestamp i provide value number 7 now you must be wondering that hey we don't have any value stored at value number 7 as part of the timestamp because we currently only have three timestamps that is 1 2 and 3 and for each one we have a subsequent values stored inside our data structure so in this case the idea would be to find the closest value for this particular one so the the uh, floor value associated with this timestamp which is going to be value number three because three is the first value we can reach from timestamp number seven and for this the value associated was k so we are going to once again return k as the answer for this one Ma now let's say that for some reason i do a get operation for let's say john 
and I provide the timestamp to be five. So once again, I don't have any entry for John. So this should re return us an empty string. Uh, and once again, I can do a set operation. I can add value number John. I can add the uh, associated value as Sina and I can associate the timestamp to be six. So now in this case, the value going well, once again, we are going to have a new entry called John and associated value Sina. So this is the whole idea of the type of data structure that we are trying to design. Now let's try to see some of the possibilities with this uh, type of data structure that we are trying to convey. Now think for a scenario that if we only had to design a data structure where we are simply dealing with a key and its associated value, there is no such concept of timestamp. Let's just say that if this is the case, how would the things, things might behave? The idea would be quite simple. We can simply implement a hash map inside the hash map. We typically store values based on the key and its associated values. And we can store all of these values one by one uh, based on the distinct key values. And we can simply uh, complete all the operations in big of one time, like insertion, deletion, searching and whatnot. So this is a very, very easy way for, for us to store the values. Now in the same example, what I'm suggesting is that instead over here as part of the key, once again, we use hash map, but now for this uh, hash map in part of the value, rather than storing just the value as it is, we actually store an instance to another um, hashing solution. And this hashing solution should have another block like this that contains two values. First one is the value and second one is the timestamp and based on this, it should be able to store all the values that we need and we should be able to find particular timestamp uh, on that particular value and we can, we can return all of those values. And this is actually the whole solution that we need to build up. The idea would be that we are actually going to use the combination of hash map to store the standard key and it's associated association to store another hashing hashing solution and we all can understand that why are we using hash map to do that because hash map does all the operations in big of one time plus it's a hashing solution if we identify at any point that there is uh, an existing key we can do that operation in big of one time and also for the associate value we can actually directly have multiple values but in this case we we don't need multiple values we need a separate hashing solution for that i'm suggesting to use a tree map why are we using a tree map well first before going down deeper into understanding that why are we using tree map first let's understand that what a tree map is so tree map is actually built on top of a hash map that is number one thing it so it tree map contains a very similar property where once again we can have a key value pair operations and we can store bunch of different values but the other thing is that tree map is actually contains a property of a binary search or logarithmic time uh, valuation storing property so how does it do that well actually tree map is built based on red black trees now let me know in the comments if you want to understand more that how does red black trees work because in itself it's a very interesting topic to learn and uh, it has many practical use uh, practical use cases in applications basically what red black trees allows us to do is that instead of normally having a single hash map where we are only dealing with simple key value in tree map we are dealing with three values we are dealing with a key we are also dealing with a value Plus we are dealing with an extra bit that stores the value of a color and storing the value of this color actually allows us to identify at any given moment, whenever there is a conflict, this color has to be the difference maker, which we can actually use to find that what was the value associated at that particular time. So I know it uh, sounds confusing, but it's actually very simple to understand because this property actually allows us to store all of these values in a binary search manner. And we all know that how does a binary search work that typically we can go in any particular direction to find the value we want. And in this case, the particular direction or the color would be dependent based on the timestamp that we fetch the value at. And that's it. This is the whole solution. 
so let's try to run the solution uh, with some example and then you would it would make more sense to you we know that we need to we need two items we need our hash map and we need our tree map now the thing is for hash map we are simply going to have key as part of the uh, key that we are coming in as an input as part of its value we are actually going to store the subsequent tree map instance so as we, the tree map instance would be unique for every single value and inside the tree map instance the unique part is that we need two items one is key and second one is value so as part of the key we are going to store the timestamp and as part of the value we are going to store the associate value that we are given in the input so let's say that first input we have is key is path so i'm just marking it as p uh, associate value is vyas so once again i'm just marking it as, as v and the timestamp is value number one so in this case uh, currently we don't have any entry so we are going to create a new value p associated with path we are going to have associated tree map that we have to consider so this instance of the tree map would be marked over here okay so let's just uh, say that this is the instance of tree map okay and inside the instance of the tree map we are going to store one as the value that we have or, or as the key because this is the timestamp and its associate value we are going to store value number vyas now let's say that once again we received the value for the same key path and now this time the value is h and the timestamp is 3 so once again for the same path we already have the entry so we already have this one now we all we need to update inside the existing uh, timestamp so for this one tree map once again we are going to have another entry 3 and now this time the value is going to be h so we store the value h over here once again we get another entry path once again the value is let's say x and uh, the timestamp is 5 so once again we we only have one entry inside our hash map we have the timestamp to be 5 and we have the value x associated with that now let's say we receive another value john now uh, the value is cena and the timestamp is 7 so we don't have entry over here so we are going to create a new entry john now we also have to create a new instance of the uh, tree map so we are also going to do that for the john and over here we are going to have our timestamp and value timestamp in this case is going to be 7 and value associated is going to be cena and this is how the whole solution would work now let's say at any given moment i want to do a get operation if i try to do get uh, path at timestamp number 7 so currently i will go over here because this is the key for path now once again th this would take me to this tree map for this tree map i don't have value number 7 uh, but I have something closest now the thing is all of these keys inside the tree map are actually stored inside some sort of a binary search tree or a red black tree which means finding that where does value number 7 exist should only take us logarithmic end time and not actually end, uh, end time in a normal hash map it would take so in this case we can find out that 7 is not present but 7 is not present we can also find out that what is the largest value present that is value number 5 so associated value is x so for this operation we can simply return x as the answer that hey this is the value associated uh, closest to this particular timestamp and same way if we get another entry let's say get uh, john and uh, for john we also get timestamp to be 9 so once again we can just go to john we go to its a, a sub subsequent uh, tree map for this tree map the largest entry is 7 the associate value is cena so we can return cena as the answer and that's it this is how we can use the combination of tree map and hash map to store all the values now let's try to calculate the time and space complexity in this case the time complexity is going to be big o of log n for the set operation and also big o of log n for the get operation and why log n because tree map operates in logarithmic n time complexity because it's a red black tree and i'm also repeating because this is a very popular concept so that's why space complexity so space complexity is actually unique to calculate it's going to be big o of k so k presents number of unique keys multiplied by number of total values that we are being given so k multiply by n because we only need one hash map to store all the unique keys but per unique key we also have to create multiple tree maps so that's why space complexity is little bit higher but time complexity is extremely fast and this solution actually is being used in many applications such as 
कैश और सम सॉर्ट ऑफ लाइक हाई टाइम फंक्शनिंग टाइम बेस्ड डेटा स्ट्रक्चर दैट यू आर ट्राइंग ट्राइंग टू डिजाइन सो दैट्स वाई दिस क्वेश्चन रिमेन्स गुड गुड अमाउंट ऑफ पॉपुलर ओके सो लेट्स सी द कोडिंग सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस वन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर इनिशियलाइजिंग अवर प्राइवेट हैश मैप वेर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टोर द वैल्यू ऑफ द की एंड इट्स एसोसिएटेड ट्री मैप एज इट्स सब्सिक्वेंट वैल्यू नाउ लेट्स इनिशियलाइज अवर ट्री मैप विथ अ न्यू हैश मैप नाउ फॉर द सेट मैथड वी आर गिवन थ्री वैल्यूज एज एन इनपुट फर्स्ट वन इज द की सेकेंड वन इज द वैल्यू एसोसिएटेड एंड थर्ड वन इज द टाइम स्टैम्प सो फॉर दैट वी आर एक्चुअली गोइंग टू स्टोर द वैल्यू इन साइड अवर हैश मैप and we are going to check that if the key is not present so then in that case we need to create a new entry for key and its subsequent tree map if that is not the case then we are going to simply put down the value inside our time based on the timestamp and the value inside the tree map okay after creating the new instance so this is the set method for the get method we are simply checking that if inside the what is going to be the key portion for the tree map for that we need to do map dot get key so that is going to give us the value of the the value that we are looking for inside the tree map and we are going to check that if the tree map is equal to null for that particular entry then we can simply return null if that is not the case then we need to check that what is the flow timestamp associated with the current timestamp that we are given and we can check that if we don't find any entry we can simply return null if we do find an entry that is closest to that particular timestamp or that timestamp exactly then we can simply return that value and this is how the solution works so let's try to run this code okay seems like our solution is working as expected let's submit this code okay our code runs pretty good in terms of time and space complexity there can still improvements be made but uh, this is going to be good enough solution so once again the solution is present inside our github repository so if you want you can go ahead and check it out from there thank you